And with the sound of some waves breaking in the background, it's finally time to actually talk about these. You may have noticed that I've been wearing Koo sunnies for a little while. Uh, they're pretty hard to miss, to be frank. And when I first wore them, I made a little joke. I'll just put that into the clip right now. One of the points of this ride was to try something that I never thought I would try because I didn't think that it would be suitable for me because I'm not that kind of guy, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's a product that uh, has been pretty prominent and uh, I've seen it a lot and I didn't understand it until I did this. And the point is, they feel fantastic. I don't really care what they look like. And that's the point I'm trying to make. I like what I'm looking at because the vision is, uh, the, the lens is gorgeous. The sit on your face is fantastic. The way to find the right fit is just to squeeze the nose in, push them on your face and get the right adjustment. And it's fantastic. Uh, big thumbs up. Anyway, moving right along, this is a different set. Um, there's a Demos, which is these, and I forget the name of the other ones. And I never thought that I would see myself wearing them, as I alluded to in the first uh, little uh, video. But anyway, I just basically, I just love them. And as you see, they marry up really well with the cask helmet. My understanding is it's basically the same uh, company, the same family. It's Italian, it's good, it's been in cycling for a while. They seem to know what they're doing. They're very popular. You see them on sponsored riders everywhere and I think that you'll see them on people who are genuine customers soon because they're just, they're just really super duper comfortable. They're practical for cycling. They slot into the helmet really well. Uh, I went riding the other day, it was pissing down rain and um, I spent about five hours on the bike and a lot of the time I had them stuck up in the helmet, which I wouldn't recommend because I have, uh, had incidents, let's say, where maybe the glasses fell out. But I'm happy to report that the other day when I was riding uh, with them slotted into the here, or there, or somewhere, I don't know, because I was doing it while I was riding, they just stayed there, no matter how uh, fast I went, or looked around, or how shaky the road was. But on the face, I'm sorry about how they look on my head. It's not the best face of all but uh, at least it covers the wrinkles under my eyes while I'm um, wearing them. And uh, I know, yeah, yeah, they're probably 20, uh, they're probably sunglasses for a 20 year old and uh, I'm a little bit beyond that vintage now, but I'm gonna keep wearing them for a little while. I've got a wealth of choice, I have to say. I do need to wear scripted glasses, but the more I ride, the less uh, time I spend in front of the screen, the better my eyes are for the long vision. So, I actually feel pretty comfortable wearing these. My script is only a light one, um, but I do need reading glasses now, but I don't think I'd wear Koo reading glasses. Perfect for riding, highly recommended, and that's basically my product appraisal. Uh, what do you think? Let me know. And tell me if I just talk too much, because I don't know, I'm just enjoying myself at the moment. And why wouldn't you? Look at this. And now, the sun's breaking out. Ha, good times. <laughs>